delicacies include mill teasers and lard. Luckily, this cafe isn't for humans. A wildlife expert has created a diner for birds in her back garden. Kate McRae spent months building the miniature eatery, including creating a specialist menu, especially for her hungry feathered friends. She says the hard work has paid off with minutes within minutes of opening the doors. She had her first customer and since then they've been flocking to eat there. I spoke to her earlier today. Thanks so much for joining us, Kate, and for bringing this incredible bird uh, snack bar to us. Tell us a bit about where the idea came from. Well, I've got lots of live cameras on sort of standard bird feeders, sort of selections in my garden. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I've been doing a similar thing in a small mammal box, so creating sort of bespoke sets. Um, and then small mammals coming in and feeding in them. So I thought it'd be really nice to do something for the birds. Um, so I came up with this idea of creating some kind of snack bar that they would visit. <laughs> it's incredible how much effort went into making it because you've got sort of tiny water bottles, tiny cakes, a little menu and everything. Um, a lot of effort went into it. Um, initially, it starts with sort of an idea I have in my head and then I draw up sort of various sketches and then um, I've got some people who can help me turn my ideas into reality. Sadly, my um, carpentry and building skills aren't quite sufficient. <laughs> so I've got um, a friend called Tom Fernstone who, who actually came and we discussed all my sort of crazy ideas. And then he created the actual exterior um, sort of build of, of the set. And then I created all the interior. So all it is is actually doll's house, one twelfth size doll's house um, stuff inside. And that's perfect size for birds. Oh, wow, that's amazing. What was the first bird who paid a visit to the cafe? It was a robin. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I get lots of species feeding here regularly, so they're fairly used to me putting out feeders. Um, but this one's a bit weird and a bit unusual. So I, I did think it would take them a couple of days, but it was within 20 minutes the robin visited. And then it was pretty quick after that. Um, and now I get quite a wide variety visiting virtually constantly all day. Brilliant. Where can people find out more if they want to watch the birds chowing down? Well, I've got a range of um, cameras live streaming on my website. So if they go to www.wildlifekate.co.uk and then click on the live cams link, they'll be able to go and view all my cameras here in my garden. And are there any birds that you would really like to pay a visit to the snack bar? Well, um, I haven't had many of the finches yet. So we, if, you, if you log on, you'll regularly see the blue tits, blackbird, robin, even a nuthatch. But I haven't had goldfinch and greenfinch visiting yet. And I'm quite surprised. I don't think it'll be long, so keep a watch out. Fantastic. Well, fingers crossed for finches. And thanks so much for joining us, Kate. OK, it's a pleasure. Well, it's just 12 days till Christmas.